Hey, my name is Kylie Cruz and welcome to KC Nails. Okay, in today's video, I'm excited because I'm doing a St. Patrick's Day look. It is inspired by my shorts video. Um, I decided to go with an all green type of nail set. It is a Gel X set. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so before getting started, if you are new here, I hope you like and subscribe and stick around on my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for your endless love and support. You guys know it means the world to me. And as always, if you want to show a little extra love, then leave a comment in the comment section down below. Okay, so we're just going to speed right through things and get to the design. So I'm going to go ahead and do Jalex nails with my, my usual Unigel 2XL Taper Long Square Nails. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my McCart Peel Off Base Coat just because I need to pop these off. And then we are going to go in with the Module Ones 4-in-1 uh, glue. And I actually just did a Module Ones um, unboxing. So if that uh, video is up on my channel already, I got that nail um, gel X set for 13 bucks. So if you guys want to check the video out, then it is linked above. Okay, so as I said, I'm going in with the McCart Peel Off Base Coat. This is my usual. I always use this. Um, it's pretty good just for like the nail content creators. If you want to be able to take the nails off as soon as you're done creating that set, then you just pop them off with like a wooden cuticle pusher and it's super easy to do. Um, so you go ahead and just put that on all of the nails and you do this before you put on the um, Gel X nails. Okay, so as I said, I'm using the 4-in-1 from Module Ones and I already went ahead and measured my nails. So I did that and then I also took that little hangnail thing off. Um, I filed it off the uh, free edge there. So we're going in with this and I'm just going to go ahead and put these on and then I will be right back. Real quickly, I did want to say that in my last video that I told you I posted for the reviewing the module ones gel X kit, it was, um, this lamp came with it. It's just like a mini lamp and I had reviewed that I didn't like it. I wasn't a fan and it was only because of the little button being inside of the lamp. Um, but you know, I figured out how to use it. You just need to push the button before putting your fingers in there. Um, I wouldn't say it's like the most convenient thing, the Beatles one, because it is like, um, like motion censored it is a little bit easier to use but it all worked out just fine so i went ahead and put them on and now i'm going to go ahead and file and prep the nails also this little purple cushion is super cute i just got it from timu i'm just testing it out but a little bit um weighs in here i do decide to change it out because i feel like it's just a little bit too bright and it's distracting away from the actual nails themselves so um you will see a review about Timo, Timu and their products shortly, um, but for now, I'm just testing out a few of their products. So after prepping the nails for um, gel polish, make sure that you guys are always taking a lint-free wipe and isopropyl alcohol and just scrubbing the extra dust and debris off of the nails. It's super important because you do not want the base coat to catch any of that um, debris it will show up in the nail polish and you'll definitely see it and there's not much you can do to fix it as always i am going in with the model ones base coat i do really like these um, i tend to gravitate more towards these like almost every single time um, so i'm going to go ahead and coat all of the nails with this base coat make sure you guys don't skim on using a base coat um, you definitely don't want to try to um, conserve this because you want it to cover the nail fully just so you have that um, flawless and smooth base. Mentioned that I was going to switch the cushion out for the one I normally use and I did do that just because I do feel this is like less distracting. Um, if you guys have an opinion about it like you do feel one is better than the other then please let me know because that's just like what I see from it but um, everyone is different so I would love your opinion. Okay, so going in with Beatles A256, so this is just like a little nude neutral color. Um, I do enjoy this color, so I'm going to be doing this on a few of the nails, um, and then we're going to continue on with some other colors as well. Okay. 
So I did go ahead and use that A256 on the um, pointing finger as well and just wanted you guys to know that I did go in with um, a second coat on both of them. So go ahead and coat it and then cure for 30 seconds and then coat again. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and go in with a white and this is also from Beatles and I'm going to do this on the pinky and the thumb as well and then we're going to do like a cute little marble design. Before I do that, I like to go ahead and put all the base colors down first, so I'm going in with A287 and this is um, from Beatles as well and it's just like a really dark forest green um, and that's because we're going to start incorporating quite a bit of green. Um, as I stated before, it's going to be a St. Patrick's Day nail set and I initially thought I was going to put rainbows in this set, but I wanted to keep it kind of more like green neutral-ish colors. So that's kind of why I decided not to throw in like a bright rainbow. Um, but I really hope you guys like it in the end. I think it turned out uh, great and then you can see it in the natural light and it just like really like pops. It looks really good. So I'm going in with a marble design on my pinky and on my thumb and this is how I do that. So I go ahead and I put like um, a base coat on top of the color and that's just so it can run a little bit easier. I kind of use it more as like the blooming gel effect that people buy. Um, but I don't actually buy it, I just use the base coat. And I kind of just spread different colors, different places onto the nail. And then I make sure that I kind of layer them. So you want to put some colors on top of different colors. And honestly, just put it wherever you want, whatever you think looks good. Um, and you're just going to continue and put like, like it could be um, sparkles, it could be like lighter colors, darker colors, anything that you think would look nice together. Once you're done laying, layering the colors, you want to go ahead and get something like that you don't mind getting ruined. So I go ahead and I move this um, like nail stand and you want to get um, like a straw. I use one of the plastic straws that I just don't use anymore. Uh, and then I went ahead and you just start to blow through the straw. Obviously, I wouldn't do this on a client. OK, so this is just like what I do. Um, but, uh, yeah, so you go ahead and you blow through the straw and you can move your hand like different directions, different, uh, like ways. And you want to do that. So that way you can kind of maneuver, um, the design different places. So if I'm blowing like down, it's going to obviously move that darker green, but you can also go back and towards the left side, there's that lighter green. You can blow it back up and it'll like show more. So just depending on what you're doing is what's going to happen and you'll see it like the more that you do it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the thumb. So I already applied the base coat and now I'm just adding some extra white um, and then just topping it with some different colors, some sparkles. And then we're just going to do the same exact steps. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the thumb and then we will move on to the next nail. Okay, so on this dark green color uh, nail, my ring finger, I decided to do some swirls. I did want to test out the SXC Cosmetic gel liners again. Um, I got them in PR and I already have a video, so I will link that above. But I wanted to try these out again just to see how, would, how they would work because I really, really enjoyed them last time. But for the dark green nail here, I wanted to just incorporate different shades of green. Um, I did... Uh, mess up a little bit on the t the bottom right hand corner I added like an extra line and I was trying to do like an accent line with another line but the other line didn't show up so it looks like it's just one random green line so if you're wondering why it looked like that that's what happened but anyway I digress like it still looks good in the end so it was fine Okay, so we are going in with my favorite now. I'm going to be painting some four leaf clovers or just three leaf clovers in general on this 
um, pointer finger. Um, I try to do this um, with a larger brush, which is what you're seeing me do right now, and it didn't turn out well, like the shape was not there. And so I wanted to show you guys that it's fine. You just need to like erase it and then try again. So as you see, I'm trying one more time on the top. Again, didn't like it. So I decided to completely wipe it off again and restart with a different brush. So and technique actually, because I decided to draw it um, more like the heart shape type of clovers. So if you look at a clover, um, obviously there are some that are like three leaf and four leaf, which the four is the lucky ones. Um, I just wanted to do some of both, but again, that's kind of why I decided to restart so many times is I wanted that shape to look a little bit more like a clover and not like a hot mess flower, you know? So, so I literally just took it off, but this is fine. This one looks good now. So, um, if you want to follow along, I just draw like a few hearts that are really connected with each other. And then you'll see me, you'll see me fill it in because I do use quite a different color, a few different colors and I redo those as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill these in. I use the white because I want the green to pop on top of it. So I want the base to be white. So I fill it in with white and then you will see me go in with a different brush here because after I do all these detail lines, I realized I kind of wanted it like stippled on there um, just so the colors blend a little bit more. That was my mistake in the beginning because I was doing more of a detailed type of flower but or clover, but then I realized like, oh, I need to change it up. So go in with like a fluffier brush first, stipple the colors and then cure and then stipple again. So what I do is I, so right now I'm adding the colors with like a detail brush. I don't suggest doing that. I suggest doing it like in a larger quantity of color, you know, so it's not like so defined. And then at the end, go in and define it. So as you can see, that would have taken me forever. So I'm going in with a fluffier brush right here and I'm just tapping it onto the four leaf clover of the white. Um, and this is what I recommend doing. Don't do what I was just doing because it will take too long. Um, and honestly, this, this one looks better um, anyway because we're going to layer. So add a color and then flash cure for like 12 to 16 seconds or so and then add another color and it'll start like defining that clover um, and it'll also make it pop more because you'll have all these different tones of green. So once I'm done adding the main colors, I am going to go ahead and outline the four leaf clovers and then you want to add a stem. So I went in with the darkest green to do that. Okay, you guys make sure when you hand paint things that you are curing after you like make even the smallest line that you like because if you do mess up you know you risk having to take it all off and you really don't want to do like like complete one clover and then have it be like really cute and then you mess up on one and you have to wipe the whole thing off again you can flash cure so just like 12 to 15 seconds doesn't have to be for very long and it's just enough so that way if you do have to wipe anything off with isopropyl alcohol it stays Okay, so for the last and final note, I did decide to tie in those swirls and I just wanted to do like a marble effect, um, like diagonal on that nail. So I am going to go ahead and use the base coat again and then layer some colors and then blow it out and add some gold flakes. And I think this really adds the touch with the gold. It looks so good. 
I apologize for the background music, uh, I guess not music, but my toddler is singing right now, so music, I guess, um, she's singing, so I apologize for that, uh, but anyway, yes, so go ahead and add the colors, and then we're gonna blow it out, and then we are gonna add the flakes. Make sure that when you do this, you are not curing that base coat, the base coat is wet still. That just helps assure that the colors blend evenly, um, and easier. I guess it just kind of glides better, I guess not evenly, because it's... It's, it's like marble, so it's not supposed to be even. Again, you want to make sure that when you are doing the blowout with the straw that you're moving your hand to somewhere that can get dirty. Um, I went ahead and just used this tiny little lint-free wipe because I couldn't find the paper towel. So I just went ahead and did this real quick. Okay, so it wouldn't be St. Patrick's Day type nail look without gold or some type of shiny something right the gold definitely adds to it so i'm going to go ahead and do the gold flakes and then i will add some gems and then we are almost done i'm so sorry i keep forgetting to tell you guys i did the glitter um i mean sorry the gold flakes on top of a base coat just so that way when i cured it um it's it stayed um you could do that or you could do it on top of like you know a top coat but then either way you're gonna have to re-top coat it because this glitter I noticed that these little gold flakes are a lot thicker than the other ones I get um, it's fine it's just like it has more depth so you do need to like make sure you top coat it better okay so I just got these gems recently from Timu like I said I want to do um, a Timu haul eventually here um, they are so cute and they go perfectly with this nail set but I did have to dump it into an extra bowl because there are so many. They added so many of these tiny, tiny little caveat beads. And they're so small, you guys, that one, they got everywhere. And two, I didn't even know like what I would use them for because they're literally that tiny. But anyways, uh, I went ahead and dumped them into that. And then I used my little gem picker upper thingy and went ahead and put some of the green emerald gems on. Okay, so I have to know in the comment section down below, are you guys like an anti-bling type person? Like, do you just not like bling on nails? Are you the type that like, I love bling, I need like as much as possible? Because I know there are two different types of people that like the nails. So just let me know because I'm really curious. Okay, so in addition to the cute little green emerald gems here, the thing came with like these really um thick foiled like circles and i guess diamond shapes and the circle i wanted to cut into like a crescent because i wanted to put one down uh towards my cuticle so i went ahead and just trimmed it with a cuticle cutter and then i'm trying to apply it um it did take me a few tries because this isn't like it didn't move very easily it's very thick so um, just keep that in mind. I guess I could have opted in for like one of those little crescent moon stickers that would have been easier to put on. Okay, so last and final step which is necessary is cuticle oil. So I went ahead and applied those to all my cuticles. And then you guys, the completed nail set is done. Oh my gosh. I know I kind of say this with every set, but I love, love, love these. I am not like that much of a green type of girl. Like I told you guys I love pinks and purples on my nails. Um, but I love the way this turned out. I think, yeah, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, I think the only thing that could have made it a lot better is if I would have put the emerald gems on the pinky and the thumb. Um, but I opted to just leave those free because I did have a lot going on. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the natural sunlight. I love the way it looks in natural sunlight. I think it really does elevate any look just having it with the sun. But, um, this is what it looks like. I love how the gems look. Um, like I said before, I messed up a little bit on the swirl at, towards the bottom of the cuticle there. It just, there was another line there. It just, you can't see it. Um, but otherwise I, I really do enjoy this set. I think it looks great. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. If you would like to show a little bit of extra love, then please leave a comment in this comment section down below. Okay, you guys, I hope you have a good one and I'll see you next time. Bye.